Yellowstone supervolcanoes are among the most terrifying natural creations Earth has to offer. The volcano's explosivity index has an eruption strength that is one step further than neighboring volcanoes in general. This means that at one time in history, more than 1,000 cubic kilometers, 240 cubic miles, a material was blown from the cover. Perhaps the world's most famous supervolcanoes is the Yellowstone Caldera, a huge fissure in Wyoming, USA, that lies beneath a vast national park. Although millions of people visit Yellowstone every year, a volcanologist has spoken out about the extent of damage that would occur if an eruption occurred and the extent of its impact on the world. Supervolcanic eruptions depend on their location and geological makeup. The events that occur range from hot rock and gas avalanches to extreme changes in the global climate. The latter is caused by an eruption at Yellowstone, which according to Professor Christopher Kilburn, a volcanologist at University College London, would have a major impact, if not the entire world. The area around the super eruption location will be completely destroyed, but then came the global impact, the story was different. Clouds of fine volcanic ash will rise into the stratosphere and block sunlight perhaps for several years. More important is the release of volcanic gases such as sulfur dioxide, which forms opaque sulfuric acid droplets and reduces the amount of sunlight but lasts longer than ash. This would cause a complete disruption to global food supplies. Depending on where the eruption occurs, the impact would be huge. What scientists call a nuclear winter will occur, with ash and debris from the eruption spreading across the globe and blanketing the sky, blocking most of the sun's rays. This will reduce global temperatures and lead to crop failure, health implications, and reduced energy production. Professor Kilburn continued, if this happens in Yellowstone, this will likely burden the global economy because countries with the world's leading economies will suffer. Many economic impacts will occur which will then disrupt trade, food supplies, general activities throughout the world and in turn can cause other destabilizing impacts. While such eruptions would not necessarily lead to the extinction of humanity, Prof. Kilbin said many volcanoes and supervolcanoes were not actively monitored to detect such movements. It's a myth that the world is watching monitors correctly. They measure specific points every few months. But even then, they may not have the relevant measurements to understand if a large-scale eruption is about to occur. However, for now, things look promising when it comes to the super event in Yellowstone. <laughs>